Hi everyone and welcome to today's yoga video. Today I'm going to be doing a slow, very gentle, very um, getting a good stretch style of yoga. So if you are looking for a fast paced, sweat inducing power yoga, this is not the one to do. If you are looking for a very slow, restorative, gentle, because you are a beginner or you're sore or you're stressed out or you are recovering um, from a really tough workout or something, this is the video for you. I am using two yoga blocks, but if you don't have yoga blocks, you can use two tightly rolled up towels. I am also using a yoga strap. If you don't have a yoga strap, you can use a tie or a belt or anything in your house that's similar in the shape and length. And when you have those, go ahead and have a seat on your mat and let's get started. Okay, so to begin, let's just sit comfortably. Now, if you are a beginner, you might not be able to sit comfortably because this is not that comfortable if you are tight. So, to make yourself a little bit more comfortable, take a little inventory of what's going on. If your knees are like this and you're like, ooh, help, take those towels or blocks or whatever you have and place them underneath your knees at whatever height is best for you. If you find that you are able to sit comfortably with your knees open but your back kind of hurts because you're like rounding like this, then take that towel or yoga block and sit on the edge of it like this so that your knees can kind of come down and your low back stays long. Once you have your comfortable position, place your hands on your legs, palms facing up, and go ahead and close your eyes. Just take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale through your mouth. You can exhale with a sigh. You can even make some weird noises. Sometimes people like do like a oh, like one of those things in class. It's really kind of fun. Go ahead and give it a try. Inhale, deep breath in and exhale through your mouth. And last time, deep breath in, deep breath out. And the reason we do this is to kind of quiet the mind down because we're all dealing with something. We all have to-do lists, things going on, things we're stressing about, things we're dealing with. And these first few breaths are just to kind of let that all go, set it aside for right now. It'll still be there when you're done with this. But see if you can just arrive in the present moment without being stressed or panicked or worried or anxious. And then begin to breathe in and out through your nose. Keep your eyes closed for right now and scan your body from your head to your toes, just checking in. Because so often we go through our day or just rushing around from one thing to the next and we never really check in to see how we're feeling right now. So tune in and see what's going on. And there are a couple ways to do this. You can look at the quality of your breath. Are you breathing shallowly, kind of fast? That often means you're stressed or you're anxious. See if you can slow it down. You can take a mental scan and just see, okay, where am I tight? Do my shoulders hurt? Is my, are my hips tight? What's going on? Or you can look at the more subtle aspect of what's going on with you. You can see what your energy level is like, what your mood is like. And you don't really need to try to change it. Just kind of check in and see what's going on. Once you have that, go ahead and open up your eyes. Take a deep breath in and lift your arms up overhead. As you exhale, plug your arms into your body. Then bring your left hand to your right knee and your right hand behind you, but very gentle. This is just a very subtle stretch, very slow stretch, not forced, very gentle. We're just slowly trying to wake up the side body, the torso, and the spine. Inhale, lift your arms up overhead. Exhale, plug the arms into the body. Inhale, right hand comes to left knee. Left hand comes back behind you. Try to sit nice and tall. On your next inhale, come back to center, lift your arms. Interlace your fingers 
And then bring your hands to the back of your head and gently draw your chin to your chest. Let your elbows be kind of heavy, but you don't want to pull too hard. And then check in with what's going on with your spine. I'm just going to turn in case you need to see me from the side. You want to have your spine nice and tall. Try not to round through your back. You can even play around with moving your head very slowly just to see how that impacts your neck. And always remember to breathe very deeply. Try for three to five seconds on your inhale and the same amount of time on the exhale. So even though we're not doing this fast-paced, rigorous yoga practice, you still want to breathe very deeply. Use your lungs to their fullest capacities. On your next inhale, sit nice and tall. Bring your head back up. And then you'll take your left fingertips to the right side of your head and gently draw your ear towards your shoulder. Very gentle. And if you're feeling very stiff here, back off. You never want to feel pain. You can close your eyes and go inward if that's helpful to you. As you breathe, imagine that your breath is like a comb and it's able to untangle any tightness you feel. Anytime you're feeling tightness in your body, just take a deep breath in and just imagine this comb, this breath comb <laughs> untangling. As you inhale, come back to center and we'll take it to the other side. Inhale, sit nice and tall, open up your arms. You're gonna lift your left arm up overhead and bend the elbow. Then you're gonna take your right arm and bring it back behind you. I'm gonna turn so you can see me a little bit better. So I have my hand here, the other hand comes back, and we're trying to grab hold. If you're very flexible, you'll be able to grab hold of your hands. If you're not, grab hold of your strap, get a good firm grip on it, bend at the elbow, and then reach back behind you until you grab that strap. Once you grab the strap, keep trying to move your hands until you can get as close as you can, as close as you comfortably can. Now when I say comfortably, you need to feel a stretch. So it might not actually feel that comfortable, but you wanna avoid pain at all costs. If you're feeling any pain, back off and breathe. Otherwise, just keep pushing into this unknown space and breathe here. I'll turn back around because I feel weird talking to a wall. Breathe fully, breathe deeply. This is helping to open up the shoulder. You'll probably feel this at the front of your shoulder, the front of your arm here. It's also great for your chest to open up and your armpit area as well. Gently release, and we'll take it to the other side. Now, if you're kind of feeling like, ooh, that was tough, you can go ahead and shake it out <laughs> and then take it to the other side. So we'll lift that other arm, bend the elbow, bring the other hand back. Maybe you can touch, maybe not. And who cares either way? Like, if you're getting down on yourself because you can't touch your hands, stop that. <laughs> there are more important things to be worried about, and that's totally not one of them. We all have to start somewhere, so just let it go. Close your eyes, take a deep breath in through your nose. And exhale through your nose. Notice how when you breathe in, your shoulders kind of lift, your belly gets big. That's your lungs at work. Exhale through your nose. And always feel free to make any kind of movements you need to. Like sometimes when I'm doing this, I just kind of like to turn my head a little bit just to get a little bit of extra something going on with the neck. Or you can stay in total stillness. When you're ready, gently release, super slow. And then shake it out as needed. 
slow or fast, whatever works for you. From here, we're gonna start to open up the legs. So, you're gonna need one yoga block, maybe, and you're gonna bring your legs out in front of you, gently flex your feet, gently spread your toes. If you can't spread your toes just by looking at them, you can manually reach down, spread them with your fingers, and then let them go. Hopefully they'll stay. From here, you're gonna remove the flesh from underneath your sitting bones, which is a very weird thing to say if you've never done it, and a very weird thing to do if you've never done it. But the reason why we do that is because it kind of gets that extra muscle um, out of the way so that you're more connected to the ground and then you can get a deeper stretch is the idea. Now, if you are sitting here like this and your back is kind of rounding and, and you feel almost like pain through your back or tightness through your back, grab hold of that block or towel or whatever you have and just sit on the edge and then go back through the whole thing. Remove the flesh underneath and gently flex your legs, or sorry, your feet. And then you wanna make sure that you're not hyperextending through your um, hamstrings here. So you can have a little micro bend, micro bend in your knees. From here, whether you are sitting on a block or not, grab hold of your strap and locate the middle of your strap. Once you have the middle of your strap, we're gonna aim to wrap that around the center of both feet, the center of the bottom of both feet. I'm gonna sit off of this because I don't need it. Okay, now once you've done that, you wanna reach as far, as close to your feet as you can with your hands. And you might even wanna wrap your hands once or twice around. Then from here, you're gonna sit nice and tall and you're gonna use your bicep strength to pull yourself forward. The goal is not to get your head to your knees or your head to your feet. The goal is to feel your belly against your thighs and to keep your low back as long as possible. Here is the shape you want to avoid. This is stretching my back, which there's nothing wrong with that. If, that, if you wanna stretch your back, go ahead but I'd love for you to stretch your hamstrings. And to do that, you need to have your belly against your thighs and your low back very long. So it really doesn't matter where your head goes. In fact, it's great if you keep your head, um, your face looking out in front of you instead of straight down, because that's gonna help keep your alignment in your spine nice and long. So deep breath in. Exhale, use your bicep strength to pull yourself forward. And you'll notice that with each exhale, you're gonna feel a little bit more movement through your hamstrings, a little bit more openness, and maybe you don't even need the strap. And if that's the case, you can wrap your hands over top of your feet or around your feet, whatever feels good for you. But what I like to do is with each inhale, find like this ripple effect through my spine. And with each exhale, find this melting effect, my belly towards my thigh. Inhale, ripple up, get long, look out in front of me. Exhale, melt my belly down towards my thighs. And when I do that, I find that I have a little bit more success in opening up the backs of my legs versus just continually trying to just get ahead without, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know. There's probably a saying for that. I want to say two steps forward and one step back, but that doesn't make any sense here. What I'm saying is that backing off sometimes is much more helpful to go forward than to just stay stagnant and try to move forward like that. So breathing here, fully and deeply, even though we're not doing this very rigorous practice, still using the lungs to their fullest capacity. Now, if you are quite flexible, you have the option of taking a block or two and resting your head right on the block and letting your arms hang heavy here. Always make the practice work for you, for what you need. My instruction is just a suggestion. 
Okay, from here, let's gently release. So we're gonna have long arms, acknowledge the pose, and then slowly release. And again, any kind of wiggling you need to do to kind of shake it off, go ahead and do that. From here, I'd like to focus on opening up the inner thighs. So to do that, we're gonna come into cobbler's pose. To get into cobbler's pose, you wanna bring the bottoms of your feet together and then bring your feet as close to your pelvis as you can. Now you might be up like this. If that's the case, that's okay. It's, it is what it is. It just means your hips are tight, no big deal. From here, take your thumbs into the center of your feet and then begin to open them up like a book as you wrap your hands around the tops of your feet. As you do that, your knees hopefully will open up. If they don't, use your elbows to press into your knees to open them up. And then imagine that you have fingers sprouting out through your knees and you're reaching for something just out of grasp. And then from here, you're gonna bring your chest forward. And as you do that, you're gonna look out in front of you, not straight down. As you do that, you're gonna feel your inner thighs open up. And again, any kind of wiggling around that you wanna do, is totally cool. And this is another pose where I like to take a deep breath in, lift up, full breath out, come forward. Inhale, rise up. Bring your hands underneath your knees. Press your knees together. The feet will come down. Then wrap your arms around and lower your head to your knees. From here, slowly find your way onto your back. Once you're on your back, bring your knees in towards your chest and then lift your arms, lift your shoulders and head off the ground. Wrap your arms around the fronts of your shins. Grab hold of your elbows or your forearms and then bring your head down and tuck your chin a little bit so the back of your neck is very long. From here, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, see if you can bring your um, tailbone down towards the ground. It'll be a very subtle movement. And then from here, bring your hands to the tops of your knees. Flex your feet and lift your shins so that they are parallel to the ground and then open up your legs. Let gravity open up and get a good stretch through your inner thighs once again. And then on your next inhale, press your knees together. Grab hold of one of your blocks. Set your feet down. Feet are hip distance. And then from here, you're gonna press into your feet and slide the block just underneath the backs of your hips. And then from here, get comfortable with your feet. So I'm gonna walk mine a little bit further away. Now, the weight of my hips is resting on my block. This is pretty effortless for me. I'm gonna bring my hands to my belly. You can have your hands off the mat, palms facing up, whatever feels good for you. And we'll just hang out here for about three minutes. And I'll let you know when the three minutes are up.
On your next inhale, begin to wiggle your fingers and then press into your feet to lift your hips up, slide that block from underneath you and then slowly make your way up to a comfortable seated position. And bring your hands to your heart and close your eyes, just acknowledging your practice. And when you're ready, seal it in with namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down near the comment section below. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. I'll do my best to be in touch with an answer. And don't forget that you can always download our app. Just search Yoga by Candice, no spaces, in your app store. Thanks so much and I'll see you soon on the Yoga by Candice YouTube channel.